Namaste. Thank you all for joining me today. Uh, let us make an attempt today to experience our true selves. So you can take a comfortable position, keep your back comfortably straight and start taking deep breaths. And as you exhale, allow your eyes to gently close. I want you to imagine in your house, you're standing near the window. The window is open. And as you stand there, you see that there is drizzling outside. Beautiful waterfalls, water drops falling down. And you can feel the cool breeze on your face. You're just enjoying watching that falling water drops. You can listen to the sound of those water drops falling down. And as you are listening to the sound of falling water drops, you notice that your breathing is naturally becoming deeper and longer. Very comfortable, long, deep breaths. And as you keep listening to the sound, and as you feel your breathing becoming longer and deeper, you experience a relaxation spreading through your body. From the top of your head, through every part of your body, to the soles of your feet, this relaxation is spreading. Freely. And with every breath, it's becoming deeper and deeper. And as you are getting relaxed deeper and deeper, and as you are listening to my voice, and any sound that is coming from around you, you're getting relaxed deeper and deeper and deeper. a wonderful sense of relaxation. The whole body is going limp and loose. Now I want you to imagine you're getting out of your house. You're standing barefoot on wet grass. The rain is stopped. You're standing on wet grass. Feel the energy, the grounding, stabilizing energy from the earth. Entering your body, through the soles of your feet, going up through every part of your body to the top of your head. And now you notice full moon on the sky. It's really a wonderful sight. There's a big halo around the moon. So beautiful. I want you to imagine that you are just looking at the moon. You can feel the wet grass below your foot. You are just gazing at the moon. Keep gazing intently. Breathing deeply, gazing the moon. Just keep gazing. And as you keep on gazing at this beautiful moon, full moon, 
you notice there's a transformation happening around you. The scene is changing to magical, mystical, perfect place. Your gaze is at the moon, but you can feel this transformation happening around you. And now I want you to lower your gaze. And then you notice a long flight of steps in front of you. These steps are made of clouds, white, pristine white, cotton-like clouds forming these steps, starting from the ground in front of you. And as you look up, the steps are going up and up. You can't see where it stops. It is going into the sky, a very long flight of steps. I want you to walk towards those steps. When you come closer, you see on the left side of these steps, there are golden benches at periodic interval. The steps look so delicate. I want you to put your foot on the first step. When you think it can hold your weight, it's not as delicate as it looks. This cotton-like cloudy steps, it's strong enough to hold your weight. Now, I, as you are stepping onto the first step, I want you to consider that energy can be considered as a constant phenomenon. While matter is assumed to occupy a very specific region of space and to move in a continuous manner, all the energy and matter has always been contained in our universe. Sat Chit Ananda is a Sanskrit term that describes the nature of reality as it is conceptualized in yogic philosophy. It can be translated as truth, consciousness, bliss. This term is contextually related to the ultimate reality. Satchitananda is an epithet and description for the subjective experience of the ultimate unchanging reality. It's not easy to visualize ourselves as such as Ananda because we have acquired several sheets over this true self and we identify ourselves totally and deeply with each one of them. Let us shed these sheets and get an experience of our true selves. Now that you're standing on the first step, start slowly climbing up. Put your foot on the second one, third one. Slowly enjoy the surrounding, enjoy the beauty. You're slowly climbing up. And then you reach the first golden bench on the left side. Slowly sit on that golden bench. And as you sit, you feel it's energizing you. After sitting on this first bench, you're going to remove one of your sheets. That is your profession, job, or if you are a homemaker, that status. Just allow yourself to be freed from this. We are so much attached to this profession. We identify ourselves as what we are. 
that's why when people retire they're totally lost they don't know what to do with their lives but it is just a sheep that we have acquired so this sheep we are just keeping gently on that golden bench and as you get up see how free you are feeling one sheath you are just removed start climbing up again slowly you are really enjoying this climbing these beautiful steps now you have reached the second golden bench sit on that bench and think of the next sheep your role as a parent those who don't have this role just sit and absorb the energy from the golden bench it's perfectly all right so as a parent we think we are having so many responsibilities and we think erroneously that we are shaping the future of our children it is not they bring their own destinies and what is expected from us is to just give your presence to your kids in a with a non biased mind the rest everything universe does we can be so much free in our mind and that things will just keep on going the way it should be going so understanding this take off that sheath of your parent status gently keep it on the bench now it's time to get up and start walking further up feel that cloudy steps beneath your foot such a wonderful feeling it's a heavenly feeling keep walking up now you've reached the next golden bench sit on that bench and think of your role as a spouse those who don't have this role just sit and absorb the energy from the golden bench you get a spouse depending on your decision before you take birth in the earth plane at the soul level you have taken a decision to choose a spouse who will give you the lessons that you are supposed to be going through and evolving but it's a very thick sheath that you have acquired it really weighs you down in normal routine life so you can take off that sheath we don't need to do it physically everything is happening at the mental plane when you think that the sheath is coming out it is just coming out let it be released from you and gently keep on that golden bench now get up and start climbing further these steps are looking so bright cloudy steps it's a wonderful sight you are really really enjoying this climb on these steps and with as you pass each golden bench you're becoming lighter and lighter 
It's been a wonderful feeling. Now you are nearing the next golden bench. Sit down there. And think of your role as a brother or sister. That is also designed by you alone at the soul level to give you lessons for this lifetime. Whatever the relationship, however it goes over the years, it's all to give you the lessons that you need. So you need to just do what you are supposed to be doing, your karma according to your dharma, that's all. So mentally imagine this sheath of you as a brother or sister just being extricated and gently put on that golden bench. And you notice you are becoming lighter and lighter. Now you can get up and start climbing again. Slowly and steadily enjoying each step, you have now reached the next golden bench. Your role as a daughter or son. That is the sheath that you're going to remove at this step. Allow that sheath to gently come out and keep it slowly on that golden bench. You can now get up and start going further up. And you have reached the next golden bench. You sit down there and think of your gender. Our true selves don't have any gender. When we take the cloak of this body, human body, then we are assigned a gender. So now we are going to go beyond that. Drop your gender on this bench. So we get up and go up. The benches are situated closer now. The next one, you sit and think of your name. Name was something which was just given to you by somebody. Somebody who loves you. But it is just a name. You could have been given any other name too. But you have been identifying with your name so much. You think you are that name. Actually, it is not. So drop your name on this bench gently. Get up and walk further upward. Enjoying this climb totally. on the next golden bench as you sit down. Now, you're going to drop your physical body. So this also is another sheath that you took up to play your role in this Maya. This may be a little difficult, but it will just happen. Drop your physical body on this bench. You may feel that you are losing your identity, but we are going to see 
or experience your true identity. Drop the physical body, get up and walk. Climb the stairs and reach the last golden bench. Beyond this, you don't see any steps. It is just sky beyond this. So walk, sit on that golden bench and you're going to drop your mind. The mind, the all-powerful mind that is making you do all sorts of things, making you think all sorts of things, make opinions and do actions which may be hurting others, which may be giving happiness to others, whatever. So on this last bench, you're going to drop your mind. And the moment you drop the mind, you feel as if you're sucked into the realm beyond. You're sucked into nothingness. Nothingness that is charged with limitless power. The power to conceptualize, the power to manifest. This is your true identity. You are part of that. The huge energy experience this the true identity i'm giving you some time to just totally feel what you truly really are just experience this
now that you have just experienced how magnificent you are. You are the truth, consciousness, bliss, Satchit Anand. That is your true identity. You just took a decision to experience a role on the earth plane and acquired all those shades and came down. You will always remember this experience of your true identity and there's nothing you can do about that. As you go through your worldly duties and activities, this will always remain at the back of your mind, giving you peace and bliss. So now you're going to come back. As this thought comes, you just get separated from that huge energy field. You come to the first bench, just get into that mental body or mind. Walk down gently, come to the next one. Acquire your physical body. Now you feel from that, the feeling of lightness, slowly you are getting this heavy feeling as you are acquiring each of these sheets. Now you are coming down further. Pick up a name from the next bench, the name that you're given in this birth. Come down slowly. Get the sheath of gender that you chose for this lifetime. Coming down further, you're picking up the sheath of yourself as a daughter or son. You're keeping on feeling heavier and heavier because these sheets are not easy to carry. Coming down further, pick up a sheath as a brother or sister. Further down, the sheath of yourself as a spouse. Once that is done, come down further and take up your sheath as a parent. Now you realize how dense you have become so far. And lastly, pick up your role, your sheath of your profession. So you'll remember now, these are all just sheets. But your true identity, you're experienced. And it will always remain with you. You have reached at the bottom of those stairs. I want you to look up at the sun now again, sorry, at the moon. The full moon. Look at that full magnificent moon. And as you keep gazing, the scene around you is changing. The steps are vanishing. Slowly, you find yourself sitting in this meditative pose, doing this meditation. It's time for us to come back to the present and now, keeping all those experiences intact in your innermost compartment.
bring your attention to the surface of your body, touching the ground or chair. Maybe just wriggle your toes and fingers. Bring your attention to the nostrils as the air is going in and out. Bring your attention to your physical body. You're totally present in your body. And you can take three deep breaths and slowly open your eyes. Thank you.